Hi everyone. Hi guys. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining us again in the loft from the waft. I'm kidding. <laughs> the waft from the loft. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so today we're talking about another great perfume that's you in the farm. You haven't, haven't smelled it. No, yet. but I know it's going to be great because they're they're all they're all great in their way. And it's been no and it's a it's been nominated, so it has to be great. Yeah. Um, you're all winners in my eyes. Um, Basilica. <laughs> Tell me about Basilica, Dan. What is Basilica? Milano Fragrance. So this is uh, the creative director behind Milano Fragrance is Alessandro Brun, who you may know from Mask Milano. Great house there. Yeah, we haven't talked about it much, but they are one... I guess I'll kind of put them alongside someone like Gallivant, that pretty much everything I've smelt from Mask Milano, I think, is good. Yeah. I only there's, not, there's nothing Russian I find tea, boring but, or yeah. But they're really I like Russian tea and Hemingway mm. Tango really? I do enjoy actually in yeah. that sort of obs Calvin Klein obsession yeah. again, cinnamon y yeah. sweet Hemingway, yeah. thing. Yeah. Um anyway, so he's um But he's not the perfumer, he's the No, the perfumer is director. uh Violin Colas. Um so uh Alessandro Brun exp explained the reason why uh, another um another brand with the name Milano in it. Um, so this, uh, these fragrances are more centrally focused on the city of Milan itself, but perhaps more um, significantly, they are cheaper. So this is 115 euros for 100 mil EDP, which is quite a reasonable price. I mean, it's, you know, it's only just above a designer uh, uh, price. Um, uh, so, yeah, so Joe hasn't smelt Never uh, this at all, so I'm going to give him a little spray. I've had this um, for a few weeks now, so I've managed to get a, a few whirrings out of this on skin. And you're going to get Joe's first impressions. I bought these samples from Beauty Now, which is in the Netherlands, because you can't buy them Lovely. in the UK. So, given the name, you really mm. get what you expect. So it's a real pencil shaving cedar and incense. Straight out of the trap. Really, like, a, like just a kind of like an out and out. It almost smells like a uh, robot uh, do a, a material called Bois d'Encens, which is a code distillation of uh, olibanum and Virginian cedar. And it just, it really does smell like that. Yeah, it's, it's, there's something pleasant going on here behind the, the initial burst. But my first reaction is not very excited. My first reaction is that it's very pleasant and... Yeah, I mean, so the first reaction is it's a pencil shaving kind ever. of incense. Uh, it's quite me a little bit kind of metallic dry. Yeah, there's a, there's a little tiny hint of some sweet friendly thing in the opening. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what that is, but the, the, uh, it's for me, it's the pencil shaving and the... Mm -hmm. And the incense. When when I tried it on skin, I felt more than like getting this. I did get quite the impression of uh, um, old wood as well. Actually, yeah, it wasn't just it wasn't just the kind of sparkling incense, you know. So it really feel, it felt like we we're in a church at the moment, um, you know, of the uh, the kind of incense mingled with the wood. It's interesting, you know. We come in a church here, and we're often here on a Sunday. And there is the smell of incense hanging in the air. And it, it, it's very different to the, the smell of incense you get in fragrances, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's much uh, thicker and duller and doesn't have... It doesn't These have this kind are made of, to be sparkling and yeah. energetic. Um, but I definitely do get the impression of the kind of like old churchiness in this. Now, I completely understand your kind of reservation of saying, oh, I've smelled this before. Yeah, um, but I need to try and ask him properly. So... On skin, there's a few things which started to creep in after a while. So it went quite creamy. Okay. It went quite. Ba I haven't looked at the notes list, but it went quite bay leafy. Uh, and what is it? it says, yeah. So warm milk accord, and rosemary and thyme. Yeah. So I got this sort of bechamel oh, accord. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is you know kind of a, a, a white sauce um, base, um, and. Yeah, little herbaceous qualities coming in there now. It reminded me a little bit of uh, Opus Six by Amouage, which has this oh, really from the good library yeah, collection, which has yeah. this really good um, bay leaf accord in the middle. Um, and actually, yeah. it became really surprisingly herbal. 
like kind I of think, yeah, eat. I'm starting to get that already. I think paper is not the way to go with this perfume. I think it, it needs the warmth of skin. To, it, I can tell that it's just, it's very closed off and I'm getting mm. a little Yeah, I definitely, I, I did think on, on skin it kind of uh, opened up. I think, I mean, on obviously you're, you're only just smelling the, the kind of the, the first few stages of this. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, at first I thought nice, incensey, churchy, smelt it before. But, but then I did feel this kind of introduction of this sort of bechamel accord. Um, was something uh, which um, I hadn't kind of quite experienced. Is that um, what I would have made when I made a lasagna last year? Yes. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I, I was following a recipe and it was, it all sort of fell apart on the plate, but it was very tasty actually, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I used the pork ragu and the beef together. Mm -hmm. and it, was, it was nice. Um, and so, and this, the, the kind of woodiness, mm. the kind of cedary kind of ness, uh, sort of lasts all the way down, but it does become increasingly uh, herbaceous, not, not increasingly herbaceous, but this, this herbaceousness you arrive at in the mid. Um, and I should be careful with my use of the term herbaceous because it's not a fresh green, it's more of a dried herb kind of marinade, like you yeah. might make a bechamel or you might marinate some meat. Yeah. Um, um, it, it, it is coming through more and more now and I'm, I'm liking that stage. The opening was a really bum steer for me because it was just, I thought, okay, sort of incense pencil shaving, con de mm. type thing. Yeah, being the done that. But I do, I do feel- There's more interest. It, there's more interest. And, and actually if you, midway through wearing it, it feels, you know, you catch wafts of yourself and you could be wearing some sort of aromatic, you know, fougere even. Yeah, I can see that. There is more- Even in the Azaro kind of territory. Yeah. The creaminess, I think, will take some skin for me to realise. I'm um, not quite getting it here. Yeah. It, no, it definitely became uh, creamy, almost, and maybe a little bit kind of um, cumin-y. It's, it's interesting because the, the description seems to be out and out, kind of ch like cathedrally, whereas I feel like the, the story's taking me somewhere else. Yeah, what, I'm, to, to I'm a not, kitchen, I'm not, to a family. I'm not a church sort of territory with this. I, I was at the beginning, but... But maybe the, because the, the thing is the pencil shavings, the quite strong pencil shavings is not necessarily a, a churchy thing. There was, as I said, there was no. a woodiness which made me think of pews. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that. But I, I'm, I've, I'm finding that even on card, I'm wondering if this is another sort of shrinking violet amber. I don't mean violet, but yeah. another uh, shrinking amber. It, it was, it was uh, slightly amber towards the end, but it didn't, it didn't go in a, a strong... Uh, uh, it didn't go in a particularly kind of lantern I mean it was slightly kind of that I feel like I want more amber mm. I feel yeah. like I'm getting lots of middle and top sort of yeah well you are just, you are just smelling the kind of start of it but I mean in the base I can't imagine mm. there being much of a base behind no, it wasn't it, 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 it wasn't, feels it, wasn't thin a, it wasn't a, it didn't kind of turn into a, a deep sticky kind of resinous thing at the end um, I mean I have to say you know if you want a church incense fragrance given the price point for this 115 euros. I think it's a it's a pretty good bet. Yeah. I like I like it. I it, do, it doesn't excite me at all. I mean it's it's I think it's pleasant. I think it's it's nicely done. And there is definitely more for me to discover on skin. I'm sure. And that's so I'm going to I'm going to reserve judgment. But at the moment, it doesn't excite me. I think uh, we're kind of speaking as people who really like woody incensey fragrances. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Uh, Manishtana and things like that. Yeah. I love with all my heart, and they're so. Yes, it's so rich and beautiful. Um, it's, a, it's a prin lumbrous. Things that are kind of hover, hover and ne neither nor. Yeah. Territory. Well, this, I always feel a bit like, you know, pick a lane and... Well, this, I mean, I think that's the thing with this. It feels yeah. like it's a slightly, you know, given the price point, um, this feels like an accessible church incense. Yeah. You know, this feels like it's not quite pitched at... Um, you know, your fragrance enthusiast. It's more of your kind of, you, you kind of pass a by, like, I'm going to have one incense fragrance, it will be this. Yeah. As opposed to yeah, your, 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 your fragrance um, collector. And as I said- But even then, for pure out and out incense, I would, I would have Montal full incense for something a bit, it was a bit rough around the edges, or- That's quite rough around the edges. <laughs> incense Avignon, you know, 
by comedy gossip. Yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah. In that world, but I like this. It mm. does have some, it, there's a bit of a smile to it as well. It doesn't, it's not quite but so this, serious. This is not quite as metallic as those comedy gossip on No, uh, fragrances. it's not big ISO E super bomb either. No, no, not in, the, not in the same way. And also, I, I like, as I said, I there's like the warmth the, to it. The, the, yeah, there's the warmth, there's the creaminess, there's the kind of herbal quality, which is a bit more interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's got more. I think it's got more to say than those. Um, I've dropped it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try it on skin. It's just that's the, the be all and mm. end all for me. I think I, I need to wear it and feel what it's like when it's warming up on my pulse points and not on card. I do like it. And the, I don't, know, the, I the herbaceousness is in, more interesting. I don't think you will set your heart on fire. No, it's not. It's, maybe it's just not my bag as well. Sort of incensey things I love, but it has to be, it has has to be, to be quite a, a rich, more. resinous, sort of something that draws me in and seduces me. I think that's not such a I think, as I said, I think it is it, it is original in it. It's not just incense. There's a little bit more to it, but it's certainly not uh, groundbreaking. It's not hugely interesting. No, it's just a good, well-made, well churchy done. incense fragrance. Yeah. Um, so it'd be interesting to explore some more. I've got a couple more samples. I had to, yeah, we I should had check to them order out. like four or five in order to get shipping from the Netherlands. So I've got a, a few more. We can um, awesome. We can have a try. But if you try, uh, uh, well let made. us know, or let us know uh, where else from the house we should be um, uh, sniffing. But until next time, bye. Happy sniffing. <laughs>